in a blink of an eye, the world has changed. And we come to realize that things aren't as they used to be. Economies are crashing down, businesses are closing, and everyone is on lockdown. Suddenly, Paris is no longer romantic. Disney has lost its magic. Vegas has become isolated, while New York finally slept. Who could have imagined that hugs and kisses became hurtful? Any form of physical contact became harmful. Staying away became an act of love and isolation became something to be proud of. Suddenly we realized that in the face of death, money became powerless. Power is worthless. Time became invaluable. Isolation became indispensable. And we're placed in a position where we ask the question, why? Why? Why is this happening? Why should it be this way? Unfortunately, I too have no answer to that. No one does. But I do know one thing. That in every adversity, there is learning. That in every situation, whether good or bad, there is always something we can get from it. And that something will help us grow. Now a good question we should ask ourselves is, what can we learn from this isolation? We have come to realize that life is short. The situation tells us that everything is temporary. The things that our lives once revolved around have become something immaterial and unimportant. That the pursuit of happiness cannot be found outside, but inside of us. If there's anything we can learn from isolation, is that we should be grateful. That we should make time for ourselves and the things that actually matter. To be thankful for everything we have, that we should appreciate even the littlest of things, to live a life where it has meaning and purpose, to leave a tale worth telling. This isolation is like nature's way of telling us to reconnect, to once again connect with ourselves and reevaluate our lives. It has taught us it is not how much time we spend but how we actually spend that time. That we should make every second count. Now I don't know when this isolation will end, but I do know isolation can happen even when nothing's going on. You see, what we're experiencing right now is just a physical isolation. What's happening right now is just merely the need to be separate from everyone. It's not because we want to, but because we need to. We need to be isolated because of the virus. We need to be isolated to be safe. But there is an even greater type of isolation that we should be scared of. Something deadlier than any virus could ever be. And that is mental isolation. Yes, it's real. And it eats us up even when we're with our family and friends. Even when there is no virus turning the world upside down. It is the type of isolation where our mind is isolated with our own negative thoughts. With our very own thoughts that tell us that we are all alone. That you are nothing. And they tell you that everything is impossible. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, remember it with your heart. There is nothing you cannot do. But you can always make something happen when you want to make it happen. Impossible became I'm possible because of you. Because you willed it to happen. If only you could get rid of fear. If only you could de-isolate yourself from your negative thoughts and fill your mind with optimism. Now this current isolation does not only speak of the good lessons, but the hard lessons in life. 
turn the tables, make this isolation one where you lift your lid and flourish by turning your impossible to a possibility by believing in yourself more than anyone else does. This is an isolation when you become something great, something you always wanted to be. Because someday, those dreams and what you have thought are something impossible, finally became possible. Thank you.